Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'm going to be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placements in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading can resonate with you. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olodumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Egun Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florine Williams, Norman Williams, Exia Swilly, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. Okay, okay guys, let's jump into this spread. Um, your first card out is the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Then you have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. You have the Five of Pentacles in the upright. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. Now, how I see your first row is that um, you could have felt trapped about how to make money, what to do with money, how, how am I going to be able to make this money, right? This is the second time today that the Nine of Pentacles has come out, but it's in the reverse this time. And this could be how you're feeling, um, or it could be how you've been viewed, like, like, or you feel people see you as missing the mark, feeling abandoned, not having something, right? But if you felt abandoned or you don't have enough money, that's about to change because this is all in your first row. Because this is how I see it. It's like, I, I, I'm looking for something, I don't have it. I'm Remember this, the uh, church window in the back, in the background, you could be praying for something, manifesting something, right? Here it is. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. I know you are. And I know I could even see, um, for those of you who have been feeling indecisive, you're going to make a decision and you're going to get started on something and it's going to bring you exactly what you want. But I have to warn you, okay, um, that this blessing is going to trigger real jealousy from people. It's, it's, jealousy makes people crazy. I mean, this person could already be crazy because I have a queen of swords in the reverse as your outcome card. But the reason why I want to warn you is because of witchcraft. Um, there is the high priestess in the reverse and the devil in the reverse next to each other, okay? Um, in the second row. Then you have the two of swords, okay? And that's that crossroad again. There it is. That's the crossroad. And then the page of wands, okay? And it's, it's, it's two conversations I want to have, Okay. Like for those of you who are um, spiritual workers, okay, you may be coming to this crossroad because the gift you get mon monetarily, spiritually will make others jealous. You are going to be elevated even though you are a beginner, okay? But you're, people could already tell there is something special about you. And, and I'm gonna this is for those of you who are spiritual workers. This is for those of you who aren't you know, like necessarily working in like uh, tarot or psychic things or different things like that doesn't mean you're not gifted. You're special. And I know that because there's you guys are going to have these jealousy issues coming from family, but you're the star. You're the star. So you guys are standing out. I don't care what you do. You're standing out. Right. And people are going to be jealous. It's, once you come to this crossroad and you decide, I'm going to go do it, and you receive this blessing, it is going to trigger the jealousies. And I see it in the world. See, the world in reverse, what this is meaning is that the way I'm seeing it right now is people being out for themselves. Some people seeing you in higher levels while... Um, they're somewhere low. And I say that to say because I kept saying how I keep seeing circles, the wheel of fortune, the world, even in your, um, what is it called? Even in the Oracle cards, there are different circles. We saw the circle in the threads of fate, right? What that saying is, is that as you could be on your up period, these people are on their down period. Okay. So while they're down going through whatever they're going through, they look up and they see you and you're achieving you're succeeding, 
right? And we live in a time, man, where everybody wants to be noticed and famous, and it's easy. They just think they could do crate challenges and TikToks and all this kind of stuff. And 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 no shade to anybody out there that is, you know, doing what they're doing, and you got your subscribers and followers. But it could be people looking at you with subscribers and followers, and they want to emulate what you do, and they can't. Or it could be people in the spiritual community who notice, man, you have a real gift. And you got your gift in a, in a way that I didn't receive mine or I have not received that gift yet, right? You know, it's going to be people noticing you in whatever it is you do that are they jealousy. I keep getting it. I get it when I see your uh, pay, when I'm doing your Patreon um, readings. I'm getting it here over here on YouTube. I'm telling you guys to keep certain blessings from people like not do not tell them. OK, this is big, especially with the world in reverse and the four of pentacles. This is double time telling you that you need to protect something of value, something you have that is of value. You also have the nine of swords. And then you have this Queen of Swords in reverse. Now, the Nine of Swords sits beneath the um, High Priestess in reverse. This is that um, witchcraft stuff. And the first place you might, in, you might be able to indicate that someone is sending witchcraft to you is your dreams. Is your dreams, okay? Now, these above cards here, these Nine of Pentacles and Eight of Wands also play a dual role the way these people see you, they're going to want you to lose money. They're going to want you to miss your targets, okay? This is the things they're going to want you to have anxiety, want you to go in circles, okay? But remember, this is a future warning because the blessings are coming. If they've already come for you, great. But I'm going to tell you something right now. Build up the protection. Release any devil energy within yourself. For those of you with altars, uh, go and tend to your altars regularly. Give offerings regularly as often as you can. You want to you want to have a, a certain I'm not trying to tell you to overdo it or, you know, have you super worried. But if you have a system, stick to it. If you say I'm giving an offering once a week, twice a week, three times a week, stick to it. If you want to give an offering every day, just stick to it. Um, stay close to your ancestors, guides at this time. Um, this is why I've been telling you guys about these blessings. I mean, I, I remember most of your readings about, you know, being blessed and being careful not to be greedy and all these kinds of things. It's because you, you know, if you take your eye off the ball, off the mark, it doesn't mean other people aren't watching you, watching your behavior, your character, whatever the case may be, right? As long as you keep right character and you keep close to your spirit guides, ancestors, to God, you'll be fine when people decide they want to pull a trigger and send witchcraft your way. And I know months ago, a lot of you were already dealing with drive-by witchcraft, like just getting lit up, right? That could, for if you've gotten over it, they might try again later when you get blessed again, okay? And I'm going to tell you, for those of you who have successfully, um, shed any kind of witchcraft. Um, if God or your guides have sent you any kind of dreams for the future to let you know that they'll try again, heed those dreams and make sure whatever you did to keep the witchcraft at bay or get it off of you, reinforce it and do it now. You know, as this time is coming, you guys are about to be blessed. I already know you're about to be blessed, about to be blessed. So um, it came as a warning because the blessing is coming and I don't know what month, what day that someone might try to send witchcraft, but um, you can prevent this is four pentacles to protection. You can prevent it. It does not even have to touch you. You could get the you could get the warning intuitively, but it never has to touch you. It doesn't. The only thing you have to keep in mind are your behaviors. This I, I swear to God. The dark can't be where the light is, you know, and this is it's just literally just being more mindful and aware of how you're behaving, how you're acting. This is why you've been given time to shed things from the past. Because I'm going to tell you something. You may not be doing anything negative to anybody, but if you think negative things on yourself while good things are happening to you, it doesn't mean you are not in a negative state. 
and that that you don't correspond or agree to negative energies. OK, see, it's, it's a lot of people who are blessed, seemingly blessed, whether it be monetarily, spiritually, but they they have other issues, other issues that um, someone who could be skilled in darkness could sort of pinpoint and attack. Right. And I'm not trying. This is not about like trying to be spiritually perfect. It's just trying to be more spiritually aware and protective. OK, and a, and a good thing for you to do to protect yourself is to just be in a healthy mind frame. OK, be in a healthy mind frame. That's why, you know, lately we've been asking spirit. The cards have been asking you to um, shed uh, habits that are hurting you or, or holding you back. Right. Um, to address hurts and traumas so that you don't have to react to um, painful thoughts with negative behaviors because those negative behaviors leave the door open for your enemies to attack you. You listen. Yes. The past was hard. The past was hard. God knows that. That's why I said, I'm blessing you. I'm blessing you. But if you keep that mind frame, a lack mind frame around love, money, uh, just connections in general, anything about yourself, it, it leaves a door open for the enemy. So get, raise your vibration, raise your vibration, because I do not want something uh, like a blessing for you to be um, taken away via witchcraft. And not only witchcraft, guys, um, protect yourself spiritually and then physically protect yourself. You know, get your LLCs, get your trademarks, get your copyrights. Get whatever it is that legally protects you too, okay? So, you know, this is not just for, you know, this message isn't just for my tarot readers, psychics and mediums and Reiki people. It's for all of you because you guys are stars. You're stars. And you are more so in aligned with your destiny right now. That's why you're dealing with people who are liars because Ten of Cups could be lies. You can have very uh, jealous family members. OK, and you're a star and you're coming up on all the stability and the stability is your justice. It's your justice. So this is just a, a warning because this, this message, the uh, Oracle message that I had for you coincided with the first reading I gave earlier today. This is totally different. And it's but it coincides with you're about to be blessed. You will be happy. But there, you these haters are more than just. People who are going to write negative comments underneath a post or a video, um, you know, this is these are people who um, are really psychos, queen of swords in the uh, reverse, psychopathic tendencies. Um, they would want to they would want to do something to you. They would want to see you not be in the position you're in and they want to do something about it. But this is to tell you right now. Get in the in the mind frame of protection, protection. And this is also a payout. This this is a good four of pentacles. Protect yourself. But you, you're going you're successful. You're successful. You're very successful. Don't have any kind of indecision around your success. Don't have any kind of indecision around um, spiritually upgrading. OK, just because, you know, people could be on the attack. Even if you've dealt with um, witchcraft in the past and you've gotten over it, don't let people hold you back from being blessed. Say, I know what people are capable of, so I will protect myself. That's what this is about. You know what people are capable of, so protect yourself. And you will not have to experience this. That's what I have for you. If it resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. If you want to book a personal reading with me, the link to book is in the description box below. If you would like a 30 minute recorded reading, email me at princeofpeacetarot at gmail.com. If you want to participate in the group reading, um, go ahead and join Patreon because the Zoom link for that reading will be posted on Patreon. Um, and the updated Patreon playlist is in the description box below. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy your night. And um, remember, you know, protect yourself. OK. All right. I'll see you later.